Hello everyone and welcome back to Veluwe Zoo. And as you might know in the previous episode we finished off the Africa section. So today in this video we are going to take a tour around this section. I will show you guys all the habitats, all the animals that we added to this section. And in the end of the video I will show you my plans for the next couple of episodes of Veluwe Zoo. First of all I'm sorry about the frame rate but it doesn't get any better. We have around 7000 guests in the zoo at the moment so this is the entrance towards the africa section first you don't see that much but on the back over here we have the elephant habitat we added a few viewing areas for example over here and on the other side as well right there people can walk through the habitat or not really through the habitat but more like a a viewing spot we have a couple of elephants over here. As you see, they have a swimming pool. And we have the monorail going right through it. And I think this is, or this was, for one of the first episodes of, uh, of the African section. So I'm not sure if you guys still remember this. We have been working on it for, uh, for quite some time. And in the first episode, this building looked completely different as well. So uh, if you didn't see that yet... Uh, this is your time. This is the uh, big reveal of the <laughs> of the actual building. So if you follow along uh, this path, you will have some uh, staff thingies here. You will have water and uh, and power. This is still a franchise zoo, so we have to take that in mind. And over here, you can enter the building. And as you can see, it's quite busy. It's uh, yeah, the monorail is doing its job, and there are more and more people visiting the africa section of the zoo so on one side you will have uh, the giraffes you will have the uh, yeah the safari stuff the sable antelope you can see the african buffalo over there and then let's switch to the other side and over here a elephant just threw a toy uh, into uh, into the people but yeah on the other side we have the african elephants beautiful animals of course, and I think the people really have a perfect view on them. Uh, maybe not that realistic. The, um, the animals might get a little bit stressed. But oh, we have a baby elephant as well. But still, I really like the building. I love what we did here. And uh, yeah, it's just looking good. And that's what's most important, right? So instead of going through the building, we will go outside again. And we will continue along this path over here. You can see along this path on the left side you have the art bag section. There's also a little two video on that if you haven't seen it yet. And you can already see the actual safari on the right. And on the left we, uh, we still uh, continue this path because we created a little walking route along this side. So you can visit the safari in two ways. You can either just walk along this path and see the animals from uh, uh, quite a bit of distance. Or you can take the jeep, or you can take the monorail. That's actually three ways to uh, <laughs> visit the safari side. So this is uh, just a nice little path through nature. And people will enjoy the view and will enjoy the walk. Along the water, along the animals, I think it's uh, a really nice spot. You can just sit here and watch the giraffes, zebras, all the beautiful animals. So just a little top view of where we've just been. So we started right there. We walked along this path. You will have the viewing areas over here. And this is the entire safari section. So I will just take a look at it. Uh, we created these beautiful sunshades over here. And um, yeah, it's just a huge area. We have a lot of animals over here. First off, we only added the Jeep. But then later on, I decided to add a monorail into Veluwe Zoo. And uh, it just goes right through this habitat. I'm not sure yet. Maybe it's a little bit too much. So I might just create this corner a little bit earlier. Um, because I, right now it's just yeah, a little bit overwhelming. I think with the, uh, with the monorail. Although the guests will have a perfect view on the animals. I'm not sure about it yet. But we will see. You can also see the jeeps are always um, you know, waiting for the animals to move. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, stuff will happen that we don't want to see. 
So the building itself, it looks the same all around. You can imagine the piece count on this. It's um, it's quite a simple structure though, but I think like these wooden beams make it look interesting. And you can see the view for the animals as well. They can a, take a look at the guests over here. Uh, but I can still imagine they will get stressed. But I think the outdoor section, they will have a lot more privacy because there are not a lot of people walking around only um yeah people will walk over here but that's quite a bit of distance and on the other side as well we will have the same thing right over there so people can take a look at the animals but that's basically it so we have two viewing spots uh, so the animals will have a lot more privacy of course there's a monorail going through it so yeah maybe in the next zoo we will give them a bit more privacy but yeah this is all about learning you know available zoo was just a like a big experiment of what we wanted to do next and uh, it got a little bit out of hand basically so then on the left side again people will walk over here and then we have this beautiful monorail station so we uh, created this live on twitch so there's no episode on it i only showed it in one of the episodes i think uh, but this is basically the africa monorail station and then on the other side we also have the jeep station one thing I just want to show you guys quickly is the inside of the monorail station. They will have both toilets and there's a power supply on the back as well. And there are some uh, yeah, some vending machines to make sure people actually go here. And there's a couple of things that the available zoo just needed. More drink stands, more toilets because the people needed that. So yeah, that's why we added it to all the monorail stations. The monorail stations, you can find them on the workshop, by the way. So if you're interested, you can uh, download them over there then on this side yeah like i said we created this jeep station this was inspired by a, a station from jurassic world evolution we tried to recreate it give it our own twist and uh, it came out looking like this i really like this so then um that's why we inspired the monorail station uh, yeah from the jeep station basically I just used a simple blueprint, uh, but it fits perfectly into this zoo just for the power and the water supplies. Uh, people can sit down over here, have a drink. There is uh, some vending machines and then they can take a look at the lions. So the lion habitat, we have them over here. Uh, you have a baby lion running around. A couple of them actually. A really simple habitat, some nice sun shades. Again, no indoor area. We will really work on that in uh, in our new project i'm already planning it uh, i won't say too much but i'm uh, really trying to uh, to plan everything out before we start on the uh, on the actual zoo uh, but yeah really simple habitat some nice logs some nice water areas and i think the yeah people will have a perfect view on it before we skip this part um there is a little backstage area just some experimenting with that uh, these are the staff buildings that we uh, that we need just some simple uh, some simple stuff over here so uh, staff can have lunch over here some lights and um, yeah just some trash bins i i really need to finish off this part basically but probably we will do that during a live stream or maybe like a final polishing up episode we will see about that but we will uh, we will uh, get there and then next we have the hyenas but we changed that a little bit again on a live stream I didn't like the walls that we had on the back so we changed it to the fence and the same fence that we used with the wild dog habitat um, that you will see next so i changed this cave a little bit because the idea was that we have the monorail going on top of it and actually see the animals and this was all glass and concrete so i changed it a little bit so just two little holes on top of the, the actual shelter but still the the animals need shelter so yeah they will have some spots to sleep um but i think the guests can look down and have a look at the animals uh, that was the whole idea but i think this fence just looks much better much more realistic and you can just see nature behind it this is basically the end of the zoo um so i think this works uh, works much better so the actual habitat quite simple we try to stick with the african plants but still keep in mind what actually looks like you know the netherlands or trees that would actually grow here so a lot of grass a lot of like the same type of trees but these actually look they you know belong here belong in europe belong in the netherlands and uh, that's what we uh, that's what we wanted really love the rock work on these habitats um 
Yeah, we really changed it a lot during time. But I think it really, really looks good. And all these logs, I don't know. I, I love them. They, uh, they, they create a nice piece of scenery, basically. Next up, the wild dogs. It's more or less the same habitat as we did with the hyenas. This time we created a little viewing area right over there. And um, let's see if we can find the animals. The shelter space is a, is a little bit different, by the way. Oh, I, uh, I see I need to fix the, uh, <laughs> the cleanness of the water. Uh, but I really love this structure. I think you can use this for basically anything. Lions, hyenas, I don't know, whatever you want. You can put it in your zoo. So I will uh, remind me, if you're in my Discord, uh, remind me. I will need to create a blueprint out of this so you guys can use it in your own zoo. Um, but for the rest, yeah, simple habitat, just a lot of plants. Same plants as we used for the hyenas, for the lions, basically all around this area. And um, yeah, the same fencing. We, uh, we changed that during the episode. And over here, we have a little indoor viewing area. I don't want to forget anything, so I will, I will show you guys everything that we did over here as well. We created a nice piece of scenery. I, uh, I added these jeeps and like smoke effects all around this place. I think it's a, yeah, it's a fun little thing. You know, someone crashed over here. He had a tent with him. He needed to, uh, he created his own oven. And uh, yeah, he needs to survive over here. We have the same little staff area. This one is a little bit more detailed and finished. Uh, we also did this live on Twitch, by the way. Um, yeah, so a bunch of sand and, and the stuff that we uh, that you can find on the workshop. Some bins, some electrical boxes. It just uh, adds a little bit more detail to it. I really, uh, I really like that. So this is the other side of the building. So people can walk through this um, yeah, elephant and Africa building. So I will, uh, I will quickly show you guys. You'll have some shops here on the uh, on the left. Let's see if I can get the camera right. Yes, there you go. So yeah, you will have some shops over here. You can just walk right through it. But the problem is you will miss a couple of things if you do so. So you will enter from here. On the left, you will have the entrances for the staff towards the, uh, towards the actual habitats. Then on the left, you will have the lions. You will have this nice little square. With these, uh, with these awesome little uh, yeah, statue pieces that we have. You can see I, I really thought about education. Still, this is a franchise zoo, so we have to keep that in mind. I don't like the look of the donation boxes. What we needed, uh, because Failure Zoo was, uh, was losing money. But it's all good now. I, uh, I increased the number of guests uh, to unlimited. I think we have around 7,500 guests at the moment in Failure Zoo. You can see it in the frame rate. But yeah, it's necessary. It's necessary that we uh, that we had to do that. So the final habitat of the African section, the ostrich and the warthog habitat. Again, <laughs> built live on Twitch together with you guys, and you guys gave me a lot of tips with the rock work, with the shelter spaces, and I'm really, really happy how this turned out. I think this is one of the best, but most simple habitats that we did in uh, in Vale Zoo so far. But it, it really looks good. I'm really happy with it. I'm quickly going to show you guys. We have a forage box over here. Nicely blended in with the terrain. And the animals can actually use it. I uh, When I opened up the zoo, the warthogs were sleeping right over there. It uh, really looks good. The ostrich are, uh, are eating right over there. Underneath the sunshade while the warthog is still asleep. And then we have the play area for the warthogs over here with the mud baths. You can see they can actually use it. And it's uh, perfectly blended in with the terrain itself. And then, of course, the viewing area right over there. Again, inspired by the structure from Jurassic World Evolution. We used the same roof pieces. Or not the we created this actual roof uh, with small wooden structures or uh, pieces. And um, yeah, it's all, it's all inspired by that. But we tried to keep the same theme all over the place. But little details like this, I think this is just a big experiment for the zoo that, that is Coming up next, we really want to add a bit more detail, some realism. So double fencing, some some uh, rocks over there so the, the animals won't escape. I think the ostrich is probably able to climb this, but I don't know. We will have to see in, uh, in our next project. But right now, we just keep in mind what the game wants. So the animals can't escape, so it works for me. And uh, I'm all good with that. So a little top view of the... Uh, of the habitat again i'm really happy with the result so uh, i hope you guys like it as well so this is a little adjustment we also made uh, for this habitat so first 
the entrance for the wild dogs was on uh, on the bottom over here for the staff uh, so we changed that a little bit so right now this is all connected to the desert building because we will have these staff buildings on the back of the desert building and uh, we just needed some power so there's a solar panel uh, yeah a little bit lost but it's right there so that was a quick little tour around the africa section and this didn't finish off value zoo of course we still have one big open spot over here if you are in my discord i created a beautiful sketch of what i wanted to do uh, and of course we are going to use a new aquatic pack i'm really excited to use that one i'm really curious to see the pieces and uh, when i'm recording this i, I still don't have early access um, it will probably start very soon, but I, uh, I don't have it. That's why I decided to record this video quickly for you guys to, uh, to give you guys a little update on it and, yeah, you know, talk about what we already did. And uh, this will be the final section of Veluwe Zoo. So what I'm going to do is um, we probably add the others right over there. It's a nice connection with the tropical area that we already did. Uh, because yeah the animals are like from different areas so i want to split that so we will have the otters over there we will have the uh, the seals we will have the penguins we're gonna add all the animals but of course you will see that in the next episode of veluwe zoo so i really hope you guys enjoyed this little two video if you did make sure you hit the like button and uh, if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything new and i will speak to you guys in the next one goodbye